Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another episode of Debris. Um, at the moment I'm quite confused, I don't really know what is going on. Uh, I do find it weird that there is a big fish controlling other fish in the sea. I have thought and thought about it, but I don't really have an answer, so I'm just going to carry on with this episode and see where it takes us. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and why not check out some of my other videos on the channel, who knows you might just enjoy them. What was that? Are you okay? Yeah, alright. It happened again? The current came out of nowhere. I know, we need to get out of here. It happened right after that sound. That was not ice settling. That was the damn fish. What? I knew it wasn't a coincidence. We got taken down on purpose. I can't believe it. Okay. I wonder if it knows what we are. What we want. Is it trying to protect this place? Or the debris? Possible. Are we paying for Alta's fucking animal colonialism? Now that uh, Chris has said it, it kind of starts to make sense. It is a possibility that it might be. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa there, I did not see that one coming. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Back off. What? Oh, this. This is a great start to this episode. What is up with the fishes? By the way, I'm not controlling the swimming. I am on a bit of a rail thing going on. I have a feeling it's going to push me that way. Maybe not. Never mind. Yes, yeah, so, so now that Chris has mentioned it, it is a possibility that it might be protecting the debris? Does that mean it's become a hyper-intelligent fish or something? Okay, the, these are just the scavengers. That's that. That kind of had me freaked out a bit. But then, is it possible that something else is controlling the big fish? It's all coming together now. Now that I can actually think, it's protecting the debris. Without its energy, the whole ecosystem would collapse. That fish has been after us the whole time. Scouted us out up top and found a way to suck us down. It understands these currents. Divert the right spot and catch three humans in an ice maze pre-populated with mind-controlled fish. All part of the plan. Wow. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that answers the questions. I'm just, uh, I'm just doing some soul searching. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about this whole thing. Because it's certainly not right. I mean, you don't think fish to be able to do stuff like that, do you? What? Okay, it's those ugly fish. Oh no, I need the purple one. Oh, barely, barely. Is that? Uh, never mind. Uh, what was that shout? Okay, right, I'm gonna try and stick. Uh, well, well, swim. I was gonna say fly, swim as high as I can so I avoid that purple fish because that seems to be the leader of the group. Okay, those are harmless, so I'm not worried about them. And I like the floor. What was that? Never mind. Check it out. I like this whole level design. I like this level. It looks very creepy and eerie. And I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, I, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Anyways. Hey. Are you telepathic? Can you hear me? <laughs> Why haven't you killed me yet? What are you waiting for? At least let me die before you eat me. Let me run out of power. 
won't be too long. What's that debris sitting in? It's some kind of halo cline. This place is so confusing. Oh, really? Careful. There could be those worms. You know. I hate them so yeah, much. You're telling me. They always make me jump. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking at the level. Or this particular level. It looks freaking amazing. And I like that. I don't know. I suppose Halo at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, here we go again. I got him this time. Alright, so it seems like the other ones don't follow it if you take it out first. What is up with the noises? Oh, there's another group of them. I'm gonna miss that. Never mind. You hear that? Rushing water. I can't believe how strong some of these are. Yeah, it's it's the worst. I've always been afraid of getting pulled by currents. Riptide, undertow. And this, this is worse. Huh. Not hearing anything now, though. Current's not very strong where I am. Well, technically, you're not being pulled, it's the squid ROV. But yeah, okay. I think I got him. So, the other fish tend to ignore me if I get the leader of the group. Oh, more debris. And... Jellyfish. How the heck am I gonna get past that? I can't kill them. Nope, that doesn't do anything. I just like how awesome this portion looks. I don't know what those things are, but they look awesome, especially in the murky background. Hello, fishy. I'm not dead yet. We have enough power. All right, let's, let's go. go. How do I get past that? Where the hell are we? This place just keeps going. You think? Okay, right. I think I see an opening. I didn't like that noise. Let's go, and Ryan. I didn't like that noise either. Oh, this is getting tricky. So far, so good. I am out. Uh, I really wish I could do something to those jellyfish. Like shoot them, for example. I guess. I guess that was that. Okay. Well, in this episode, we did find out what is going on with the fish. And all the weirdness. So, it appears like the big fish is controlling the small fish to protect the debris. And we are all caught in it. Wonderful. So I guess the only thing left to do is try and find a way out of here. Or at least that's what I would have thought. It is interesting. I'm going to hope that we do get out of it and that there is a happy ending to the story. It does seem quite grim at the moment. And the only way we're going to find out what happens next and if we survive is by continuing to play the game. If you've enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you folks in the next episode. Until then, stay safe folks.